Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and I'm bringing to you another PSC announcement. Uh, Microsoft just released the Files application. So it's a file manager and it's called Files. It's right there, it's transparent, but I'll just show you where it is here on my thing. There it is. So it says Files, and that's it. It's the file manager for Windows Phone. And uh, they are third-party file app managers, but this is actually the official one from Microsoft. One thing to take note that this doesn't actually sync with OneDrive. So um, it only has access to the, your phone and your SD card. So there's no integration with OneDrive yet. So you have phones, you have SD card. And right here at the bottom, you have a search option. So you can automatically search for wherever you want to. You bring up the other options, refresh, send, and about. So. I go to phone, I have nothing in my phone. It says two, but there's just basically one photo there, so I'm gonna go back. But into my SD card. My SD card has a lot of stuff here. I have my music, I have my videos, my pictures, um, downloads and documents. Now if I bring up the options here, I can create a new folder in between. So now you can create folders off the fly. You can actually go ahead and select what you want to select. Hit back there again. You can resort. You can actually sort for name, descending, all this, so on and so forth. And uh, of course, again, you have the search option. Then you have a refresh, send and about. So if I go into save pictures, for instance, and I go into my save pictures, so it shows me all the photos I have. So I have quick access to all those photos. Um, and let's take this Hulk and I'll actually do the Thunder E and board fem photo right here. So we have that photo. Of course, we have access to it. We can set a screen log, share, favorites, edit, all that fun stuff. But also, if we go back to the main menu where that photo was, we can go ahead and select if we choose that photo. And you bring up the options there. We can actually move to a different folder, delete, copy, or share again. And we can select all files. We can rename that file if we choose. So that's the file that we have. And let's rename it to board at work and board fam. There we go. So we have that save. It's been renamed. That's the name of the file right now. So we can do that and we move it from place to place. So if we do that again, we select, we can actually go ahead and we can actually copy to and this is the other option too. So if you want to actually head back to your, I want to copy this to my phone. Instead of me hitting back, 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 I can go and hit top right corner. It takes me all the way to home. Phone or SD, I go to phone. And you know, I don't want to go into documents in there. So let's do this again. Phone, sorry about that. And uh, pictures, and let's go into save pictures. And then let's go ahead here and, uh, hmm. It looks like I've gone off that function. So it looks like as I went back, I actually missed that function all entirely. So let's try that one more time. Uh, let's head back to SD card. Let's go back to pictures, save camera pictures. And let's look for uh, board at work and board fam. Actually, I could just search for that at work. Now when you're searching, it doesn't bring up the prompts, but you do have to type it out and it looks like I have to actually type the whole thing out to actually get it to search for that. So uh, that might be a slight issue there. Again, this is the first iteration of the application. So um, it looks like there the are a couple of kinks they have to do there in stepping the, in bringing this out altogether. So uh, we'll, we'll see and sort that out. So, okay, that's our image right there. Let's do it again. Let's do this. Uh, move from from save pictures copy here nope we don't want to copy it there want to copy to phone want to copy it into pictures save pictures there we go and copy here and it's been copied so it's actually now copied now you can also go ahead and access everything from your videos to your documents and things like that so for instance I can go to camera roll now that's the one thing I noticed your videos from your camera going to camera roll I just did this video like 10 seconds ago uh, before this video, before I actually recorded this. So that's a video. Yeah, let's skip out of that. But it's in your camera roll entirely. So that's where that is. And then, of course, you can go in ahead and access documents. And this will open up in Office itself. Um, all together. So you have that there. It's a nice little feature. I wish it, w it was synced with uh, OneDrive, but it's a good start. We do have now have a file manager on Windows Phone. You can pin it to your desktop. Uh, you can also, um, unless I forget, you can also attach docu uh, attach straight to email directly. So if I go straight to a picture here, I go to camera roll maybe, and I take that image, 
I can either sh use the share option there to share and that takes me straight to, e to share to email or I can go ahead and select what I want to select and then I can go ahead and share that to my emails, email border work, uh, Facebook, Twitter, whichever case may be Bluetooth, NFC, Yahoo, all that stuff. So it's right there and it's quite accessible. So we have that now Windows Phone Go. If you're a Windows Phone user, go download it. You now have a file manager that you can use. It's called Files, F-I-L-E-S, uh, from Microsoft. If you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Otherwise, uh, do subscribe to the channel. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.